thank you. So I went to a retreat in India and the teacher was, was saying, said in his books, I am now, I am. The, the question, what am I? The answer is, I am now. But I did not understood it and I did not ask. <laughs> it is now maybe four or five years. So does it make sense to you? I am now? What does it mean? Are you conscious now? Are you aware? Conscious, yeah. Yeah. And are you are you now aware or are you later aware? Or were you aware? Uh, <laughs> yeah, aware now. Yeah. <laughs> And um, aware in the present moment. I am aware in right. the present moment. Right, right. No past, Beautiful. no future. Okay. Exactly. And now th this is this is absolutely true what you say, of course. But see that this is actually not just a thought, but actually your experience. When I asked you, are you conscious? Right. Yes. Yeah. You. You went somewhere. To answer my question, where did you go? Now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You went to 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 that which is present now. Which is conscious. Which is aware. And now is another word in a way. Because it's timeless, right? It's not a now that is in the middle between the past and the future. It's a timeless now. It's this presence. You said, I am present now. Exactly. Your experience of I am now is I am conscious and I am present. In other words, I am aware presence. Which I call loving awareness. It's tricky when it's just a concept. You see, when we say, oh, I, I am that, no? And and I am now, and the mind imagines this now kind of being squeezed into, into this time of, of the mind. And it's like in between the past and the future, there is this now. And then I will try with my mind to, to stay in this now with my, with my almighty willpowers. I will not go to the past and I will not go to the future. How, how successful is that usually? The mind does what it wants. But if you see now, oh, actually it's not a thought, it's my experience. I am that now. I am and I know that I am. There's it's my most intimate experience. No one needs to tell me that I am because I know that I am. Consciousness is my nature. I am conscious. The French lady, the French guru, said the 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 now is divine the now is god
Yes. So if the now is divine, and you just experience that you are this now. You just went there. It's not a thought, I am divine, I am God, or I'm not God, or there is your direct experience. You went to this aware presence, to this now. So I don't, I don't want to tell you you are divine. Because you know that you are divine, you just felt that, you experienced that, right? Felt, words are always a bit confusing because language is made for objects, for phenomenal experience. Language is made for that. So sometimes we say you felt, I say you felt that and it was not a feeling because it wasn't a feeling, right? You didn't go to a sensation in your chest or to a sensation in your left knee to tell me you went directly to this now so yeah this guru is absolutely right but we want you to see that it's actually your innermost intimate experience of yourself this divineness When you go there, when we go there together, so to speak, when I ask you again, are you are you conscious? Are you aware? Yes. In this gap between the question and the yes, we meet. You and I meet as this divineness as this one shared being i call that sometimes that universal consciousness meets itself in this gap and in this gap where we meet as being as consciousness is there a, in your experience is there something outside of you is there something separate from you is there something that is divine which you are not in other words is there a god outside of you separate of you no 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 no, no. that's not your experience I'm not denying the importance of um, in India we call it Ishvara or God or we, 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 we look into that also in which context that is um, relevant in the context of non-dual understanding of of that we are all that, tatvam asi. But in your very own experience now, you could very clearly, I know you went there, it was not a, a conceptual idea, you could see that there is at least no God that is somehow outside of you, no divineness that is outside of you. It is your innermost intimate experience of yourself. 